Green, um, as I listen to these witnesses, it is so painful uh, to see and understand uh, the gun violence, uh, not only the responsibility of uh, those with guns uh, to not allow them to be used by children, to put them in safe places, um, to not own guns uh, necessarily. As a matter of fact, I am a person that does not believe that the Second Amendment guarantees you the right to have a gun. Uh, and I think that the Congress of the United States um, is divided on the gun issue. There are so many different ways that uh, we have tried uh, to deal with the issue of gun violence, um, and we don't have the votes to get rid of automatic weapons. We don't have the vote uh, to get rid of weapons that have been used in war, that have found their ways into uh, police stations. We don't have the votes, basically, to make this country safe. And so these mass killings are absolutely painful to see children and individuals shot down and killed for no reason other than someone does not like the color of their skin, or someone is mentally ill, or someone wants to rob someone. All of those reasons are totally unacceptable. Mr. Green, you are taking a look at another aspect of this violence, dealing with what it does to the community, what it does to businesses, and how those people who work so very hard to strengthen our communities are basically undermined uh, when these mass shootings take place, people move. B businesses close down. People are afraid. And so I you know, took one issue that I wanted to deal with today, and it is to talk about uh, so how some of these guns are purchased. The gun that was used in Uvalde, Texas, school shooting, was sold by a firearms manufacturer that offers loan installment payment plans to purchase their products under the consumer finance company, Credova. These buy now, pay later financing programs make guns more accessible to purchase, only requiring a simple credit check with interest-free loans paid back in three to four monthly installments. FinTech loan providers like Credova are not involved with, nor do they have insight into the background checks conducted by retailers who sell guns. Credova itself claims on its website that approval takes seconds for most customers. As I've said, this is only one small aspect of this issue. But of course, I think the easier guns are to obtain, the way to get them cheaply, the way for young people to go on the internet and find ways to purchase and pay later are issues that we're gonna have to deal with. I wish that you coming here today could leave saying, I was at the Congress of the United States and I heard that they really are gonna take some serious steps and they're gonna deal with gun violence. But you're not gonna leave with that message today. The message that you're gonna leave with is they talked a lot about how they are absolutely devastated with the killings that take place. As Mr. Green said, prayers are not enough. And you're gonna leave saying, I know that many of them pray, but Mr. Green is right, pr prayers are not enough. And so we have all have a role in trying to deal with this violence. The United States Congress must step up to the plate, must be committed to the, to the idea that we could stop this violence and we could take guns off the street. It's not happened yet. And so for those of you in communities, if they're gun manufacturers, if they're gun stores, I think it makes good sense for the community to get organized and tell them uh, that they do not wish to have them uh, in the community. I think it makes good sense to tell parents, 
if you watch your child acting very strangely over a period of time, if you know they have some issues, if you know that you've been ignoring the fact that they love guns and they spend hours on television watching violence, et cetera, parents, relatives, everybody's got to step up to the plate and say, this child needs some help. There's something wrong here and stop ignoring it. And so there's so many ways that all of us must play a part in dealing with the gun violence. Thank you for being here today. Thank Mr. Green for holding this aspect of it. But all of us should not be able to go to bed at night and rest seeing the violence that is going on, the lives that are lost, and the businesses that are destroyed, and the neighborhoods and communities are literally torn apart because of it. I yield back the balance of my time, Mr. Green. Now, lady yields. The chair now recognizes the distinguished ranking member